Don't complicate Arlecchino. Arlecchino is actually a really simple character to you. Don't get me wrong. She has a lot of stuff in her kit that says a lot of things, but she is actually really simple to use and I'll help you clear that up really fast. We're gonna start it off really simple, really basic with her elemental skill. This is where her bread and butter comes from, okay? Elemental skill. You use your elemental skill and you go into this dash state. You dash, you hit a few opponents, depends on how many are in front of you, and then you apply something called a blood dead direct. This is a debuff. You apply one debuff and the opponent has an X on them. You wait a little bit every five seconds and then a pyro damage instance will be applied. After that, you can use your charge attack to absorb blood dead directive that you applied. And once that happens, it becomes a blood dead you. Very simple. Use your E skill and then use your charge attack. Very simple. You gain something called a mask of red death. The mask of red death is basically pyro infusion. You get pyro infusion, you deal more damage. It's multiplied by the amount of bond of life that you have. The more bond of life you have, the more damage you'll deal. It's really as simple as that. And then here, you can see the mask of red death, a multiplier right there. And then you add it with whatever damage they have here. Very, very simple. And it does a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong. It does a lot of damage. Arlecchino has an elemental burst that has a few, it does a few things. Okay. First things first. If there is any blood death directive around her, she's going to deal the AoE pyro damage, absorb the blood dead, and then she's going to heal herself. And reset her cooldown of her elemental skill. Very simple. You use it. You heal. You reset cooldown. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Okay? And her energy cost is really low. So it's not really low, but it's kind of low that you don't have to really, you know, put too much emphasis on energy recharge. Especially since most of her kit comes from normal tag damage. Really, really simple. Okay, so the Blood Dead Directives has a characteristic in her talent. This talent allows you to get 130% bond of life when an opponent with Blood Dead Directive is defeated. So, if a Blood Dead Directive is applied on an opponent and is defeated by another character, the bond of life is instantly absorbed by our Lucino and gives her 130% of, of it, which is pretty nuts. If you accidentally kill, it, kill one of them, don't worry, you get your bond of life anyway. And once you apply the bond of life, as I said earlier, and once you apply a blood dead directive, as I said earlier, you wait five seconds, will be a blood dead view. The X becomes a little bit more glowy. This will allow you to get more bond of life. So instead of 65%, you get 130%, which is really And she has more talents that allow her to get more physical resistance and elemental resistance, allow her to be more tankier, but it's not going to matter that much. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. She can heal when not in battle, but once she is in battle, she applies power damage bonus to herself, 40% worth. It can only be healed through her elemental burst. She is a really simple character. Do not overcomplicate her. Now, Arlecchino's main thing is that as soon as she enters the field, you can't heal. And if you go to your details here, you can see you got a pyro damage bonus right there. And now you can't heal at all from any of your teammates. You apply one of this and you can see an X is on the opponent. And at this point, you can just use other characters and at that point, you can see the little X has a little glow now. And because of that glow, when Arlecchino uses her heart attack, you can see on the bottom there that the bond of life is now 130% of her HP, which is pretty, pretty good. You want that. That is, that is a, a good thing. And once you use a burst, anything that applies any sort of healing, and you stand over it, you see that it doesn't change. Nothing happens, right? That's because she can't heal anymore, right? So you absorb, and now I have 200% of the bond of life. This is her maximum, All right? Now we can do we can do a little bit of testing. Now we can do a little bit of this, that, that. We use all of our skills here, and then just go crazy. Yeah, it's actually it's so simple. It's actually so simple. Okay, now I'm gonna damage myself a little bit. I've been damaged a little bit here and there. My health is at 9,900. Okay, hopefully I don't die here. Okay, I don't. I use my elemental burst. Pops. I heal. It's really that simple. And then I can reapply the blood dead directive. In a few seconds. There we go. It's about dead deep. Don't overcomplicate this character. There is no need for that. She is actually really simple to use. And very strong at that. She's fun. She's got a new mechanic. 
she can be played really easily, put into many teams. She is pyro and deal melt can do vaporize, virgin, whatever else. I don't know. But really easy to use. Do not overcomplicate this character. There is nothing complicated about her. Just a lot of words to be used, I guess, in her kit that makes it kind of feel complicated. But it really isn't. Use your E skill, get out of the way. Use your char other characters to support. Use Kaza, use Banner Burst, use Xingqiu or Yelan or Zhongli, whoever you have on your team. Switch back to her. Use your charge attack, get Blood, Death, or the Bond of Life, and then you do damage. It's really that simple. It's really that simple. And you won't be using her burst a lot. I, I don't think you would. Unless you're at ready HP, you're really low, then use the burst. As simple as that. Not only that, but after you use your burst, you can apply another one of these, and you're back in the game. 